Thank you, Fenty Beauty. I appreciate your work. What's up, y'all? My name is Barbara Atkins. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I decided to recreate one of my favorite Instagram makeup enthusiasts look. It's I'll insert it right here. Her name is uh, her act. I'll put her at right here because I really don't want to mess it up because I really hate when people mess up my last name. It irritates my soul. So, really love her. Love all the looks that she creates, but this particular one, it happens to be my favorite. So, if you like what you see, please be sure to continue watching and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. So, to prime my eyes, I'm going to be taking the Kat Von D D37 Warm Concealer. I know she's canceled, but look, I paid a lot of money for this shit and I'm not throwing it away. I just won't buy anymore. So I'm just gonna do one eye at a time because I'm not entirely sure what I'm going for today. There we go. For a transition color, I'm gonna be taking this fluffy brush right here. And I'm gonna go into the, the It's My Rare by BH Cosmetics um, 21 color eyeshadow and contour palette. I'm gonna go into the shade Pancake. And I'm gonna use that as a transition color. I'm gonna go into the box of crayons eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna go into the yellow right here. Just really pack it on. There we go. And then just sweep it all over the lid, but don't bring it down onto, bring it all over the eye, but not down to the lid. So next I'm gonna go into the box of crayons palette again and I'm gonna go into the shade tan with the same brush. I'm just gonna apply that in the crease. Just gonna sweep that in the crease. I'm gonna go into the um, the, uh, the It's My Rare by BH Comedics palette and I'm gonna go into the shade Mousse using the Morphe M330 brush. I'm just gonna really swirl my brush in that. And then I'm going to sweep that in the crease just to deepen it a tad bit more. Just bringing it all the way in, but swirling it out in the, on the outer eye so it looks more blown out. So I'm gonna take the Morphe M222 brush and I'm gonna go into the contour part of the BH Cosmetics, the It's My Ray by BH Cosmetics palette. I'm gonna go into Brownie Bright, sweep that, pack that on the brush, and really concentrate it on the outer corner of my eye. I'm gonna take this fluffy brush from my Amazon brush set, not adding any product, and I'm just going to make sure that the two, these colors right here are blended because we don't want any harsh lines. Taking this flat brush, I'm assuming it's like a concealer brush, I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna go into the Kat Von D Locket Concealer, but in the shade D35 Neutral. Lightly pack on some concealer. Some needs to go, just cut this to go. Keep blinking so you know where. I'm gonna 
kind of want it to go like that. I don't know how to describe it, but I'm not gonna use this brush because the brush is actually annoying me. Um, <coughs> I'm gonna take, where is the brush I used last time? This one. This flat shader brush. I'm gonna cut my face with that because I have control over that brush. The other brush is annoying. There we go. Just a quick pause, if you're enjoying the video so far, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to hit the bell for notifications on future uploads. Back to the video. There we go. Our crease is cut. And then I'm gonna take this flat shader brush from another Amazon brush set, and I'm gonna go into the box of crayons palette, and I'm gonna go into the shade gold. Just gonna really pack it on the brush I'm gonna take the M, nope, that's not the brush I used. This one? Yes. I'm gonna take the Morphe M222 brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Brownie Bright again, not taking as much product as last time. I'm just going to blend the edges between the cut crease and the outer corner. That is gorgeous, Barbara. I truly did that. For liner, I'm gonna be taking the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner in the shade, cause I'm black. I want, actually, I just like black liner. I'm not a fan of brown liners. So I'm not a fan of, um, I'm not a fan of, uh, sure what other color liner there could be, but I'm not a fan of it. So, I need a dramatic wing. Or it's gonna be like a thick, short wing, depending on my mood, let's see. Or whatever my hand will do. Cause clearly I don't have control of my hand and I'm shaking right now. <laughs> All right, so for foundation, I'm gonna be taking the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation in the shade 362 Truffle. Ooh, sorry. Let's make sure it's fully shaken because I haven't used this in a while. I'm gonna take um, one and a half pumps and I'm just gonna use my finger to apply it all over my face. And then taking my uh, Real Techniques body sponge, I'm just going to use that to blend it up. Not a brush this time. So to conceal, I'm going to be taking the Kat Von D Locket Concealer in the shade D37 Warm. I'm just going to apply. Now, for to set my like powder and stuff, I want to try and use um, a brush. Well, I'm kind of nervous. But I've been noticing like creasing. I crease more. I don't know why. I'm trying to figure it out. So to set my face, I'm gonna be taking my Laura Mer my Laura Mercier concoction, both shades with the ColourPop no filter setting powder. Yeah. Cause I realized I was getting tired of mixing everything, so I just broke everything apart. And 
mix it all together. But it's majority, um, it's mostly, it's mostly Laura Mercier's medium deep loose setting powder with a, and then the next level, the next part is like a lot of translucent, of the translucent stage. And then lastly is like the color pop for a tinge of yellow. I'm just gonna use a brush to set. I wanna see how that's gonna hold. Instead of using a sponge. Cause apparently when you use a sponge, it takes more product. You waste more product, I mean. That's what I'm gonna be taking. I'm gonna be taking the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in the shade Espresso. Just a little bit. To sweep away the excess powder, I'm going to be taking the NYX No Filter Finishing Powder in the shade Coco. With this, um, I'm assuming, I think it's from the dollar store, but it's like a, uh, it's the Beauty Accents Kabuki brush. I got it from the dollar store when I was looking for stuff to put on makeup with for Halloween, but I didn't end up using this. But they're, apparently, their dollar store beauty sponges lit. Love it. They're soft. They're the right amount of soft. I'm going to line my waterline with the NYX Retractable Eyeliner in the shade Black. There we go. The eyes are lined, and what do my eyes do? Not tear up. All right, so next I am going to go into, what am I going into? I'm gonna go into Brownie Bite from the It's My Ray by BH Cosmetics 21 Color Eyeshadow and Contour Palette. And I'm going to take this Morphe M149 brush. Boom. And I'm going to sweep that on my lash line. My lower lash line. Just the outer part. Woo. I'm going to go. So taking the It's My Ray by BH Cosmetics number 7 brush, I'm going to go into the uh, the shade brown from the box of crayons eyeshadow palette and I'm just going to sweep that under the lash line there we go taking that same brush I'm going to go into the shade yellow from the box of, sh uh, box of colors eyeshadow palette, and I'm just gonna lightly sweep that on top of the brown. There we go, just keep that ready, and then I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner, and I'm just going to create some sort of a cat eye effect. You'll see what I'm doing while I'm doing it. Just gonna go bring it in, just create sort of like a point in the inner corner of my eye. You see it? First of all, actually I'm wrong. What I'm supposed to be doing is putting my inner corner highlight. So, <laughs> For my inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm gonna be going into the ColourPop Innuendo palette. And I'm gonna take the shade Glad, you can't even see that. Let me, let's see. No, you can't see my eye, so let's darken, thank you. I'm gonna take this shade right here. <laughs> I'm just gonna pop that in my inner corner and my brow bone. Yeah, it completely covered it, so I should have done that beforehand. Can you see that? I look cute. Now, the eyes are done. Can you see that? Ooh, let's zoom in. I'm lying, the eyes are not done. I did not even put on lashes. 
I did not put on lashes. Okay, so for lashes, I'm gonna be taking the Deep 103 lashes from AliExpress. I'll link them down below. They're nice and fluffy and shit. Ooh, there we go. Beautiful. And the lashes are on. So for blush, I'm gonna be taking the Box of Crayons eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna go into the shade Pink and Brown with the It's My Ray by BH Cosmetics number two brush. Cause I've been getting up a lot and I don't really feel like I'm getting up anymore, so yeah. <laughs> Just to create that lightly flushed look. So, but to highlight my face, I'm gonna go into the ColourPop Innuendo palette and I'm gonna go into the shades Fine Line and On the Loose. Yeah. So I was so hung up on figuring out what lip would go with this eye. So I ended up doing the Sephora Rouge Gel Lip Liner in the shade Dark Horse as my liner. Then I filled in like the outer to middle part of my lips with the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Vintage. And then for the center of my lips, I used the NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Honeymoon. Okay. All right, so this is the final look. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. In love, boom, boom. with a you, sometimes I love you, sometimes you make me blue.